How's it going? I'm back in Singapore! I've actually been back in Singapore for about two-ish, no less than two weeks now, but I've just been editing all my videos from Thailand and to be honest I should have just edited it a little bit faster but work has been crazy busy at the moment because uh, we've started our Christmas rehearsals. Seriously? Now someone chooses the time to mow the lawn. I'm sorry if you can hear the lawn mowing in the background, but anyway, first thing that I want to show you since we've been back is, I mean, you can probably guess from the, the video title anyway, but I bought the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Unfortunately, I have already actually opened the box, so I can't do like an unboxing video or anything like that, so that's unfortunate. I bought this camera off Carousel because I've been trying to find it in the stores here in Singapore, but no one seems to have it. I just decided to look on Carousel, which is, uh, if you're Australian, it's kind of like Gumtree. It's just like online selling. You organize it yourself. Like if I wanted to sell my plants, I could sell it on Carousel or something. <laughs> I'm not going to sell you guys, don't worry. And I managed to get it much cheaper than I would have been able to get it in the stores. In stores is about a thousand dollars. On carousel it's only cost me 750. So if you're living in Singapore definitely 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 check out carousel.com. They've also got an app. You can buy lots and lots and lots of things on carousel and it's really cheap and it's really excellent so A plus carousel. Ta -da! The screen can flip up like so, so if you're filming yourself, it's very, very useful for that. Or if you're filming up high and you want to be able to see what you're doing, you can tilt the screen down like this so that you can still see what you're filming even if you're filming from down below. So far, the main thing that I'm really excited about is autofocus. So the camera that I'm using at the moment is the Canon EOS Kiss X5. It does have like a good focus and it has a live focus, but it doesn't autofocus. If I'm filming something, I would have to press this button and then it would refocus itself. Also, you can hear the lens kind of clicking away. And life doesn't wait for you to refocus your camera. I am going to change cameras right now. Ta-da! So this is my old camera. Good little DSR. It's very, very old. Um, I'm definitely going to use it still for, mainly just for photos. And I've got a couple of good little lenses that I really like to use on them. But from now onwards, I think I'll be using the Canon GSX Mark II. G7X Mark II. I don't know where GS came from. So, this is the quality. I can get it really, really close and it's going to autofocus. Yeah, buddy. I'm really looking forward to using it from now onwards. So I'm on my way now to the Simlim Square, which is a place kind of near Bugis, Chinatown area. They've got loads and loads and loads of accessories and ele I mean, electronic accessories, things that you need for your camera or your laptop or anything electronic like that. I heard it's really, really cheap, but there's also a lot of people that are just trying to rip you off. So you just gotta be careful about the things that you purchase there. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how good it is. Hold up. Cheap shopping, come to Booker Station and just walk around for like a day. <laughs> There's so many shops here. I can already see a few uh, electronic stores in the distance. I don't know, apparently Simlim Square has the most electronics. So we'll see if I can find it. Should be oh this way. Uh, here we are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely a camera play. Ooh, yep. <laughs> yep, all of the electronics. I'm gonna be here for a while, I think. You on holiday? No, I live here. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Enjoy. 
No, I'm sorry, I'm not interested to talk, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you're traveling alone and you're white in Asia. Everyone likes to talk to you for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's so strange. Very, very strange. zip your bag up and <laughs> maybe not trust everything that anyone says but I mean no one comes here to get good quality stuff you just come here to get cheap stuff which is my kind of place I'm also starting to think that maybe I want to get some kind of LED light so that when the lighting's not perfect outside I still have good light in my face so, um, yeah, what do you think I look fancy oh god I look shiny <laughs> gotta make sure I powder my face before I do that the tiniest microphone ever. I think I found the LED light. And I can't find any LED lights that are in a ring, um, specifically used for filming. A lot of vloggers use it, but I just give it a go. But they do sell LED lights just on a complete string, so I'm thinking I might buy that and try to construct my own. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. 20 bucks for five meters, not bad. Well, I couldn't find the case, but I did find the little base so that I can mount my camera on different kinds of things. And I bought a whole bunch of other random crap that I probably don't need, but I bought it anyway. It's kind of like going into Ikea because there's so much other stuff there and you don't realize you need it, you want it, until you see it there right in front of you and it's really cheap. I was only there for a few hours, so I've got some time to spare today. I'm gonna go into Bookers Junction to look at some of their clothes. That place is always crazy, crazy busy. And it's a weekend, so it's gonna be even busier. <laughs> I need to like mentally prepare myself before going in here. Here we go. to try out the new camera. My first thoughts are great. I love it so much. The picture quality is really clear and really crisp. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's got some like auto stabilization. Uh, it's got a name for it, I'm sure. I'll Google it. Um, so if I move the camera to the side and I'm, if I move it too quickly and stop, it doesn't do this whole like shaking thing. It, it smooths out the whole motion. So, so, so helpful, especially when you're on the go all the time and you're walking around holding a camera like this. Like when you turn it on and then you press record, it can record pretty much straight away. You don't have to wait for it to boot up and then, you know, refocus and all that kind of thing. It's perfect for vlogging because if you see something and you're like, oh crap, I need to film it, then you can just take it out, turn it on and it's ready to film basically. And of course the best part about it compared to a DSLR is that it's small and I can just 
put it in my bag and take it out whenever. I don't have to lug around this massive thing. It's not so heavy. So all in all, I'm excited. I'm excited to get some good quality footage for once. Ah! Yeah, that's the end of my not in-depth at all review of the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I 100% agree with the reviews saying that it's one of the best vlogging cameras out in the market. I don't know many other cameras, but I like this one. If you like what I do, hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and if you don't, never mind. Oh, oh, oh.